Hi everybody, this is Andre, and today I'm presenting the new product by Deft Audio, and this is the unique MIDI interface that I designed, and it's available as the full assembled units or as a DIY kit, as you prefer. So, over the years I tried all of available MIDI interfaces on a USB, and a high port count as well, 8x8, and uh, some of the uh, Motu interfaces that would allow you to do 16x16, uh, 16 and others that you can see around here. Anyway, uh, well, I wasn't happy with most of them. Some of them were okay, but just too expensive, so I was really considering how I can simplify this. And several years ago, I started producing uh, MIDI kits based on the TNZ uh, microcontrollers, and these were basically led me to make the 5x5 and 8x8 cost-effective MIDI interfaces. What I'm showing now is the 1U MIDI interface, 8 inputs, 14 outputs. So, not a joke, let's take a look on this. So, first of all, it's a 1U, as you may see here. It has, on the front panel, it has uh, four pairs, so it's a four ports, one, two, three, four, input and output on the DIN5. You have the remaining uh, four ports on the back, so that would be five, six, seven, eight, input, output, again, on DIN5. So that gives you eight by eight, right, uh, on the DIN5. But also, you have here uh, six TRS-based ports. And these ports are configurable, and this is the unique feature of this interface, that it can be MIDI output port, it can be trigger output port, so you can connect it to the, well, to analog drum machines to fire up the triggers, you can connect it to the ear rack, so it's a 5 volt trigger, you can connect it to um, arpeggiator inputs on the synthesizer, and that would be driving your arpeggiator. So, so between MIDI, trigger, you can also select it to the sync output mode, and in that case it will be generating sync pulses, like sync 24, or 108, uh, 16, and quarter, and half notes, and the bars. So that could be, again, driving your other gear, like uh, drum machines and other stuff, uh, as the sync port. And you can configure that per port. So per output you can select what it is, pretty much in the real time. And this is what that uh, LCD screen is for. But that's not it. Um, you also have the uh, USB host input, so that allows you to connect the external USB keyboard, uh, like, um, I don't know, MIDI keyboard or MIDI controller, and it will be routed again to the output as you would prefer. And also, there are some an analog audio outputs. So there are two pairs, two stereo pairs of the analog output, and one is a high quality, so that's an Amber Brown uh, deck that's a uh, well, directly goes to your uh, USB, to the DAW. And another one is the medium quality, it's called, uh, well, medium quality output out of the TNZ. That allows you to use it, again, as an analog trigger. You can fire up with some drum machines uh, from this trigger, or, again, uh, use it for different purposes. So, two stereo pairs of these. Uh, basically, because it's available as the assembled units, and it's also available as a DIY community, all of the schematics is public. All firmware is open source. You are feel free to modify it as you wish, really. And uh, we are supporting you in this, and that's why the unit is coming with all the base functionality, all the features that I've just talked about, they are supported, they're easy to configure, you don't need to have any programming skills, but if you do have programming skills, you'll be happy to modify and build more functionality, such as building a synthesizer inside it. Tinsy has lots of powerful features, including, uh, well, already some uh, easy to configure uh, examples for building your own synthesizer, for building your own, own effects units, and for doing other cool tricks with this. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy it. This is a really, really cool device. And as I said, it will go as a uh, standalone board. Uh, that's the, the board that inside it. Uh, you can just use it as is, if you, if you want. If it's not enough, uh, you can get separately aluminum front panel, so you can mount it here. And just this alone, can be mounted in your rack. Uh, that, that would be really uh, convenient to put if you don't 
don't need any type of, uh, I don't know, full enclosure. But if you want to have a full enclosure, the uh, other set of a box uh, of boards would allow you to make a whole box and then uh, basically this whole box makes it as a full one U rack, level, uh, rack unit. So that's it. Thank you. Goodbye.